right, we got it. Hi, I'm Valerie, and this is Buddy. And today I'm going to show you how to measure your dog and use a no-pull harness. Specifically, we're using the Sporn no-pull harness. I know it looks like a crazy contraption, but it's really pretty nice, and it's very useful if you are a small person with a big dog like, pull, like Buddy that pulls on the leash. This is something that can help stop you from pulling. The way these are sold is by the collar dimension. So what you would want to do is get a soft tape measure and measure your dog's neck right around the thickest part. And it looks like he's about 19 inches. So this I have already pre-sized. But what I'm going to do is show you how this goes on. And we need Buddy to get up if we could. Come on, Buddy. Get up. Get up. I'm going to buckle the collar, the collar, the collar portion here. Now these, this strap here, there you can see that there's two clips in the front. I'm going to unclip one and bring it down under his arm and then repeat that on the other side. And you can see these fleece pieces here. Those are to pad the, right under the arm there. And then this, you push this button here, that goes in and out, and that'll cinch it down. So what will happen is when you clip the leash onto this ring back here, now when he pulls on the leash, it's going to pull a sensation here under his arms <laughs> and keep him from pulling forward too hard. It's not going to damage the trachea, so it requires very little effort on the part of the handler to actually pull this back. And what you want to do is actually let the dog reach the end of the leash. You should stop your motion and let the dog come to the end of the leash and feel that sensation and then call him back to you. But this really can help for older owners of dogs, big dogs, dogs that pull. This is not a replacement for training your dog, but it is something that can certainly help. Thanks, buddy.